Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Ever Ultranauts. And today, a custom user scenario sent in by Battlefield Expert. Slightly modified, but not much. Um, I have a, a battleship, and I'm going up against two battle cruisers and a destroyer. Um, I've changed the tech use a little bit. Um, so, this is meant to represent the Irish Free State um, building some naval presence and uh, it they rather than being neutral in uh, the second world war they have actually gotten involved so a bit of an alternate history timeline um and we are to build a cheap but effective battleship uh to kind of be the the flagship and then uh, the, later on it's getting uh, attacked by these these uh, nastier um german ships thank you very much for the look and Come to say hello, Gummy. That's very kind of you. Um, so, we'll get into the design. Uh, and it means having a Dreadnought as well, which is which is going to be interesting. So we're going to have a Dreadnought fighting a much more modern design of ship. Uh, I can call it whatever I want, I think. But... Um, we will we'll call it the island. Why not? Or it be the era. Uh, do do do. Hey, Cumbrian. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> now that I have power. Um. Now cheap. Let's go for a minimum displacement. Forty thousand tons. Is is still pretty chunky. Um. But minimum minimum displacement can be an interesting one. Um. And we're going to go for minimum range as well, because uh, the Irish Navy, in this case, you know, this is ma mainly going to be for, uh, well, defending the Irish Sea and the um, approaches to the island of Ireland. In terms of towers, uh, is there one with a flat back? There we go. I know the modern tower 2 is cheaper, but it's actually slightly bigger. Um, so we'll go with that one, and then ooh, there's more options here than I would think. Oh, I'll tell him only, Dan. Thank you very much for the resub. Yes, yeah, Chateau Monroe has indeed has had power restored, which is really uh, quite nice. <laughs> um. Interesting. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the modern secondary tab too. Again, because it's nice and compact. Um. Hey, Praetorianus. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, mostly recovered from uh, the <laughs> the storms here. So, um. Yeah, we'll go with oil. Turbo electric, whilst tempting, can get a little bit expensive. So, go for a geared turbine. Just a standard, very standard kind of setup. We'll go for balanced spoilers, and we'll see how fast we can get this thing to go. 65 smoke. Mm, I don't think this hull, or this tower, I should say, lets you do a double funnel. So... We uh, have to go with this tall funnel three. I'd like a four, but uh, it doesn't seem to want to fit. It might just be that that's too close. Yeah. A four is, is very good. One smoke interference is, uh, is acceptable. <laughs> um, how fast can we get the ship to go? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, uh, very fast if we want to. Uh, let's go for 30 knots. I think that would be uh, very nice. That's kind of my uh, go-to speed for a, a mid-slash-late-game battleship. Um, I th that, that's a really nice speed to be able to go at. Now, I have a limit of 15-inch guns, 
which would be the Mark 1s. Although I'd be tempted to use 16s to use the British. So on. So I'm not actually going to go with 15s. I'm going to go with 14s. Which is an unusual pick for me. Um, I'm not a big fan of the 14 inch gun. But uh, I think in this case. It is uh, a reasonable choice. Again. Trying to keep. Trying to keep the costs down. That's also why I've not put a crew on. Uh, da, 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 da. L E, thank you very much. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I can't. I don't know how to write up an accent in Windows. I'm not not sure. Ultimate Admiral likes it when you do that either. Secondary guns. Can we find any six-inch guns? No. Fives? What on earth? It's my printer. Apologies. Because it was printed out scenarios earlier. I think. Although it seems like it's printing something. Which it really shouldn't be doing. What's wrong with you? Do you possess printer? It's going to moan at me in a minute. It's going to be like, I'm out of paper. Why are you even doing anything, printer? Stop it. Possessed. Thank you. Right. Um, <laughs> is there anything more annoying than printers? Right. Uh, I can stick another uh, three-inch gun in there. That's all pretty good. Um, ooh, even for some two-inch guns. Lovely. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> and guns on top of guns. Well, it's uh, certainly got plenty of anti-destroyer firepower, which, given its intended role, you know, unlike clay adversaries, probably, uh, probably a pr pretty, pretty good. printing the blueprints. Yes. <laughs> uh, somebody hacked me the printer to send me scenarios. Yeah, maybe. Um. I don't know, there's, I'm quite liking this ship so far. Um, Alright, let's get the rest of it built. Uh, we're not going to go anything crazy. Shaft 1. Electro Hydro 1. We... The, this is... Yeah, let's go Armoured Citadel. We're going to go for a distributed armour seam. I've gone for a lot of... Um, a lot of uh, the old uh, all or nothing lately. We really want to keep this nice and cheap. Uh, radio direction finder, though, whilst expensive and heavy, worth it, in my opinion. Um, you d you definitely want a ship. Like this to have that. What's my flash fire chance? Four percent. Ooh, ooh, spooky. Um, yeah, let's get the uh, enhanced <laughs> barbet protection. Top end anti torpedo, double bottom hull. Okay, that's quite ni quite nice. So far, it's it's not very expensive. Sixty five, well, sixty six million so far. Right, let's go for sixteen eight. On the turrets and fourteen seven on the deck, seven on the four and a half belt. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna get. It's gonna get a little bit heavy, but if I shave those down to three, there we go. Sixty nine, sixty nine point two nine million. Very nice. Uh, so just under, just under 70 mil. Um, <laughs> yeah, shh, printer, I'm trying to record, I know. It was Millie, yeah, probably was. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, haunted phones, yeah. Hey, Darth Bender. Uh So we, uh, yeah, I've only just started. So this is an Irish battleship, uh, 1920, and we're going up against two... 
1930 German um, battle cruisers and a destroyer. So we've got plenty of firepower to knock out the destroyer. The only problem is that we have a bit of a full weight offset. Which is kind of surprising, but um, if I take this gun off, which I know actually makes it worse, um, I should be able to get this tower back a little bit. I can take this two inch gun off. I can move the eight turret back to here. 4.1. Oh, come on. Give me give me give me something. Let's swap that three incher for a two. Yeah, that helps a little bit. Swap that three incher and that three incher for twos. Yeah, not much. Um does not look unbalanced. I mean 3.6% is not terrible. Can I uh, do the old... Yeah. And a water torpedo tube at the back trick. There we go. Um... Ah. That's a bit better. Uh, I could move the rear turret back a bit. There. Lovely. Well, I quite like that. What's what's wrong with it? Um, what's new in 104? Uh, not a lot. Uh, it's basically 103. Um, it's just had some bug fixes to it. Um, 105 is on the way, though, as I'm recording this. But it's not out yet. Uh, about a week till we see that. Um, Tis a fine ship! <laughs> Apologies for the attempted Irish accent. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting if we could do uh, same country against the same country and do like you know Vichy against Free French or something like that. Um, no, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I'm sh I'm sure uh, my Irish viewers won't mind too much. Um, now, chat, you can choose here. Uh, hello there, uh, Calexia. Uh, would you like? me to fix up the German design or have a look at it in the designer or should we go in blind what shall we do well I think I think it's a very handsome ship she's uh, limit the Germans limit them how Yes, you can. You can do that. You can use the unlock all uh, trick um, to to uh, get the hulls right at any rate. But you won't have the right guns. Um, but yeah, um, fix them up. Fix them up. It is right. Let's have a look at the enemy. Um, I mean, we could give them a pre-existing design, but let's give them a new one. Battle cruiser. Uh, a modern. Yeah, let's give them the modern one. See what the AI comes up with. Do 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 no, 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 no. Uh, well, I mean, this has fourteen-inch guns, which is which is absolutely fine. I, I am going to take those seven inches off, to, purely to get the weight offset, and also they were completely pointless. Um, but I don't think I really need to change anything else. They're very fast. Um, Things they should prove an interesting uh, kind of counter. Similar displacement, 2v1. Uh, I'm not going to look too much at the rest of it. I do want some of it to be a surprise, but that's not too bad. And the destroyer, mm, you're going to get, uh, yeah, give you a standard one rather than a DL or DDL. Central bar bit looks stupid. Oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, they've got a lot of uh, AA on that. Um, that's a very unusual design with a gigantic four weight offset. Um, that, to be honest, I'm not even sure how you would fix. Probably doing that 
Yeah, hey, uh, there you go. Not the most elegant solution, but it it works. So they, they, they lose a little pot gun. Won't make much difference to them. Right, let's go. <laughs> Reroll it. <laughs> it is very weedy destroy. Um, very very weedy in indeed. Right. To the north, and we're headed directly away from the north, which is um, a little bit uh, sad, but I think that's a good, good looking, good looking ship. Yeah, custom flags uh, or custom nations would be cool as well. Just a, a flag replacer, optional flag replacer mod, or something like that. Um, yeah, only one. Uh, yeah, only one torpedo tube. <laughs> well, it's nice not to have to dodge a, a bajillion torpedoes for once. I and I, and that's what the AI rolled up. All they did was balance the ship. You know, it makes sense. You know, they're just sending a cheap, cheap destroyer out to uh, spot submarines or something. Maybe it's an ASW. Uh, yeah, I know. Probably will still get hit by that torpedo. Um, they have radar, of course, or at least they have the option of radar. Whereas I do not. I just have an RDF. Doesn't look like they do have a major advantage with that. But they will have uh, an accuracy advantage. And they are faster than me. Yeah, look at that. AA battery. Crazy. Yeah, that that's a little weird. <laughs> the uh, funnel gun. Right. So our chance to hit 1%. Yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't have any deck torpedoes. Uh, yes, I have seen Stealth's billion dollar ship uh, that he built. I, I, I might do a response, but I mean, most of my campaign ships, um, even 1940 campaign ships, when I'm going full hammer, about 250 to 300 million. Um, ow. Uh, going for a billion is crazy expensive. Hilarious, but expensive. Secondary tower getting knocked out. That's not great. That ah, spotted the destroyer. Finally got a hit in. No, 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 no. Keep on the, keep on the uh, battle cruiser. Miss. Ah, look at that terrible accuracy. It's the problem with an older ship. Still, we are getting hits in. Look at their armor. Uh, they do have armor. And they do have torpedoes, but they're fore and aft. So, annoyingly, I don't think we can uh, eliminate them purely using uh, HE shells or anything like that. God damn. Yeah, that 14 uh, inch belt, not keeping out the enemy shells. What setup are they using? Oh, they're also using tube panic. Oof. Finally getting a hit. Very tricky, though. I mean, their ships are much more expensive. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know I'm having such trouble. I didn't do the crew. I'm an idiot. 
<laughs> right, what crew did the Germans have? I was wondering what was going on. So they have a seasoned crew and a green crew. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> we will have a trained crew. There we go. I was wondering what on earth was going on. <laughs> I was just like, why Why am I not hitting anything? I should be able to hit something. Um, also, I have a little bit of weight left, I now notice. But I, I won't uh, fiddle around with that except to add a little bit more conning tower armor. Up to 16 if I can. Yeah, maybe. No. There we go. A little bit, little bit more of the arm, on the armor. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> Um, it's the same ships, because uh, one advantage of going in and uh, fixing up the designs or having a look at the designs beforehand is you will get the same enemy designs, you won't get different ones. Whereas if you normally, if you leave and restart the battle, you'll, uh, you'll get a new AI design. And this time we're headed the right direction at the start. Yeah, it was it's just I was like, why am I not hitting them? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, because we went out with a cadet crew. <laughs> Yes, we actually put put a train the crew on how to use the ship this time. <laughs> uh, tell them only Dan. Uh, Patreons, please submit um, scenarios through Patreon or Discord, um, whichever you find more convenient. Um, because then it's sitting there, and I will do it. Um, whereas if you put it into the form, I I don't know it's there until I check the form. And that can that, that can take a while. Um, you know, it can be a couple of weeks before I print actually have a look at the form and the submissions. Um, so yeah, just just drop me a message, and I'll I'll get your uh, get your message recorded as soon as possible. Your message, your scenario. <laughs> if you're watching this on uh, YouTube. Or Twitch, and you're interested in uh, interested in becoming a patron, you can type exclamation mark Patreon on Twitch, or you can follow the link in the video description on YouTube. Uh, Destroyer is very close. I don't like it. Oh, it already fired a torpedo at me. Good, good. Da God damn it, we lost uh, X turret. Oof. There we go. Clip the destroyer. No, you had another one. You little shit. Re they reload so fast. AI. Uh... Yeah, you got doesn't have any more. You can ignore them. And we can head directly in. Oh, god damn, we lost B? The turrets are not badly armoured. So we've got one gun. Well, that's not great. That just has to be bad luck. That's so unusual to lose two turrets like that. Uh, thank you, the true quackhead, for the follow. I I think I'm going to have to... Uh, I mean, in real life, you, you would retreat at this point, especially now the captain's dead. Jesus! Like the Germans are using sniper rifles rather than artillery. It's crazy. What's their accuracy like? 19%. Yeah, target lock bug. Because I only have one gun. All my, all my, all my upper work's gone. Yeesh. I mean, the the the, the actual hull is standing up. To it, but uh, yeah, no, no accuracy at all now because we lost the tower. 
no firepower. We've only got three uh, barrels right at the front. I know, there's definitely something wrong with the ship. Flooding hit. You know, I'm getting one hit and they're getting about ten. And uh, I can't really catch up to them either. And they're just going to turn around. Hmm. Yeah, we've got Crook 4. I'm starting to think if I had uh, the wrong... Oh yeah, now, now they're torpedoing me as well. Uh, if I had the wrong uh, Crook on it. And, uh, yeah, that's impossible with uh, the guns knocked out like that. I mean, yeah, in real life you would uh, call a retreat, but not as easy in a custom battle. There we go, there's a decent hit. But yeah, I've scored 16 hits, they've scored 300. Hmm. But, uh, I there we go, lost all my guns now. All the main guns are out. And now getting absolutely destroyed as I try and turn and run. Uh, they can catch me though. So, uh, disappointing. But, uh, people do sometimes say, well, why don't you ever see the guns getting knocked out and the superstructure getting knocked out? Which is what happened to, in real life, battles. Well, here you go. All, all, everything above the hull completely destroyed and then just battered into bits. So, uh, I mean, we did have a tech disadvantage. We had a uh, decided cost disadvantage. These are 160 each compared to 86. So, cheap, not always a good plan. And there she goes. A shame. Real shame. I like I liked the ship, but uh, not effective against modern uh, modern ships like that. Oh dear. No. Well, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, anyway, even though it was a miserable failure, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.